Hello. So, um, I did do a video earlier and I'm gonna redo that one because of a few different reasons. But, um, because I, I kind of got a little, what is the term? Um, distracted. So I'm going to go through a few different modeling uh, pictures that I had done with a individual or an individual named Aaron Stone and he had a company in the DFW area or Austin area I can't remember which um, no it was it was Dallas um, or DFW because I don't remember where he specifically lived with his girlfriend at the time um, and so there was some uh, photography done during the time frame of the remodeling of my house in uh, Carrollton, Texas. So I'm pulling up the images real quick. Once that comes up, okay. So let me <coughs> grab the camera phone thingamabob. And so that is one of the pictures that he had done, obviously that's Photoshop, that's not my actual uh, house, that was done in my house. And so you can see how he had added my picture in the background of the Asian writing. That is actually underneath the stairs as they were being built in the Carrollton house, that's in the garage area. And so, and you can also see the progression of my tattoos. So I don't have that one right there yet, but you can also see that I don't have that one yet. So there's that. Um, and that is, I was at a park somewhere and I had said, oh, the light is going to be really cool to do a little diagonal um, thing right there, so did the picture right there. That's a, the same picture but with different lighting. Now that is um, obviously there's the Photoshop as far as the black and white scale and then this portion and stuff like that with the little speckles. But um, that is, if you had seen the original picture, that would be the red silestone um, countertop and then um, yeah, I'm sitting on my <laughs> counter because, you know, why not? It, it worked out, the house that I had redesigned, that I had purchased. I mean, it realistically was fantastic. I did do it right. But anyway, then there was that issue and stuff. So that's, a, again, a underneath the stairs. And so that is at a park, as you can tell. Um, it was the first time I had worked with Aaron Stone and his girlfriend or fiance, I don't remember what her name was, um, but you can, <clears throat> uh, that was when I was engaged and obviously that is not at the time. So this particular outfit, this is in my backyard in uh, Carrollton. I had a wig and I, I put it on. I didn't, re I, I didn't remember later on how heavy hair is when looking at other stuff, but you can see the progression of the tattoos at the same time um, in that regard. And the shirt actually was lower. You didn't actually have that uh, view when that particular image was taken. So, but there's that in color with, again, that's a wig, but you can see my tattoos. And then that is during the construction. You can see the second story up there and um, whatchamacallit, I told Aaron that it would be a really cool set of pictures in the in the in-between. And so there's the fiberglass that was being put in and the staircase and stuff like that. You can see the progression of my tattoos once again um, but yeah that particular part up there that was where uh, what turned into what I call my man cave even though you know born a female still a female but I thought that that was going to be really cool okay another so that is actually my bedroom 
background that's the the blue that I had the I had painted the wall it's myself um, so and then he apparently did the Photoshop for the background and again you can see the progression of my tattoos because you know that <laughs> different time frame and stuff that was at the park climbed a tree <laughs> I've climbed a few trees <laughs> uh, he did the Photoshop with the green background there that is again the the during the construction in my house in Carrollton and see my pet Methuselah but I, my tattoo of and then that is my double oven kitchen, which I baked all those pies in. So much cooking in that kitchen. So much cooking. <laughs> I really like to cook. So, but that's that. A different area, but he had done something with the Photoshop filter stuff. My hair obviously was changed to that color because I don't, I've never done my hair that color. Um, but nonetheless, and, well, you can see the red naturally right there. And so, or the color that I made. So then there's that, and he had matched my hair color to the lipstick. So there's that. And then, you know, obviously this is photoshopped, um, because, you know, my hair and all that stuff. Um, but, uh, there's also the facial changes because of whatever he used as far as the Photoshop is concerned. And then that, you can see my red style stone counter, but you can see that he did essentially the ombre type of look in there. And so that is, that background is a pale pastel pink. And then there, the chair rail was as red as that. And yes, I painted all the doors, um, which we call it. And so I did a high gloss there. And then there was this older uh, intercom system in the house. I never figured out how to, how to use it, but I thought it was so cool. So then that's the uh, end of that, I think. Oh, nope, my mistake, just a couple. Uh, so that's the <laughs> countertop, the style stone that I had put in and yeah, and then, you know, underneath the staircase again. On the staircase that was being built at the time. That was at that same park with the water nearby. I think it was a greenway or a green belt area. Um, kitchen counter. Uh, then there's that. And again, you can see the progression of the tattoos in the different levels. Mm, oh, yeah. So I thought it would be funny if pulling on the door lock, even though, because there was actually a lock there in my hand, and I was like, well, I know that I'm not going to, technically, not going to open it. But I put my foot on the door area, because I thought it would be funny. Because <laughs> why not, right? I mean, you know, if you paid attention to pictures, then, you know, you'd be like, well, just move your foot, duh. And so, but it, I thought it was, I thought it would be I thought it was funny. So then that's a, another picture and that's, uh, it's cropped in the landscape aspect, but sunlight was doing what it was doing. And then I don't think, I think I might've put that in the wrong file because I think that's a different picture. Com uh, I think that was, uh, Ray, um, uh, Ray Vaughn who had done that picture. I think that I had missed, um, miss put that in the wrong folder so that's another picture in the park uh just a different outfit me of course and then yeah he aaron had and his girlfriend or fiance or whoever she was um she held the um the little white fold up things for the to catch the sunlight or whatever and he aaron had made a joke about someone i'm like oh yeah so i'm gonna be totally dramatic and Ah, oh, because that's, you know, <laughs> that's where that goes. And you can see the difference between the two pictures as far as the filter that he had used when taking the pictures. 
that is again in my house in Carrollton and during the construction and I had told him you need to go up the stairs and then I'll walk up because it'll be really cool looking with the difference of the um, lighting and so did that and different angles that's out in that Greenbelt Park area and underneath the stairs and I guess that one is actually the end of that let me pull that up yep so that would be the images that Aaron Stone or fearless photography had uh, done of me so let me turn the camera around real quick and get that back into hold on Almost, almost there, hold on, okay. <laughs> so, um, working with um, Aaron Stone and his girlfriend, fiance, whoever she was, um, a little bit taller than that. Um, I mean, there really wasn't any issues that I know of. Um, but I also, um, it was just the photography aspect. It was like, okay, let's get the pictures done and, and be done with it, essentially. It wasn't anything more than that. Um, I wasn't interested in either one of them in that sort of way, although the girlfriend or whoever she was had said that she was interested in certain things. I was like, mm. but I'm not interested in that with either one of you not being rude, just not interested at all. And since, if I'm not mistaken, the only photographer that I had allowed in the house during the construction portion had been Aaron Stone and whoever his girlfriend was at the time, whatever, um, had been them if there was any issues as far as like the people who purchased the house later on, if they had found anything, because obviously I didn't know about certain technology. Well, I only recently learned in 2000, uh, 18 about hacking and stalking online stuff in that regard. So if um, that had been something involved in the specifically in the construction areas, then I would guesstimate that that would be Aaron Stone and his girlfriend who did that because there weren't other photographers that I had invited in during the time of the construction. Now the other areas um, of the house that I'll get to the different photographers um, and the different ones and obviously I'll point out who's who in those different ones as far as best as I can remember. But as far as my what I call and did call back then my man cave in that regard um, even though I'm a female born a female still a female, not going to change that. Um, nothing wrong with those who are interested in doing that. I'm just not one of them. Um, I just have the haircut and it is what it is. There is at least that, um, in that regard. So, um, I know that he was living at either his mom or his dad's house back at some point. I just can't remember when or where. So, and that is those particular pictures of me doing the modeling aspect. And so there you go. Um, I guess by technicalities, I could discuss, well, okay, real quick. So I've been on the Model Mayhem website to go back to a point that I had done in a prior video, but want to not keeping in that regard. So I had put on Fat Life, or I'm sorry, Model Mayhem, 
the um, aspects, though I did put my pictures up on FabLife along with a whole bunch of others, but I had put um, what was going on in reference to my children on Model Mayhem, and I had dealt with a whole bunch of attacks in certain regards because the models in involved in the website for Model Mayhem apparently didn't think that that was important or could occur depending on which one and then certain photographers in that regard as well and um, it was one of those well I know that I can't be the only one and I don't understand why I was essentially attacked in regards of posting about it um, in the forum area because it was an area that was supposed to allow that sort of uh, discussion but apparently there were issues so I did what I could for you know the defending aspect of what was going on but um, one of the particular points that I remember the most was somebody had said well don't you have um, the life insurance policy from my my dead ex-husband and it was one of those the life insurance policy has nothing to do with the fact that the school staff specifically Angela Ryder the guidance counselor and Don Rink the principal at McCoy Elementary School had not put my daughter in a special needs program that I had repeatedly asked to get done that has nothing to do with the three adult volunteers that were assigned to my daughter along with either six or nine children in total at the Fort Worth Zoo losing my daughter at the Fort Worth Zoo my my now dead ex-husband's life insurance policy has nothing to do with their fault and what they did wrong in any way and I don't understand how that has anything to do with the fact that those individuals, those people made the choices that they did. And that includes even Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District because the therapist that my daughter was assigned to for the district therapy didn't do her job and didn't put my daughter into the special needs program. And by all accounts that I learned much later than then, but at that time in 2009, yeah, it was 2009 when she was in district therapy. And by the time I learned that she should have been in, um, like was qualified for the ARD, that was 2011. And so that doesn't change the fact in reference to that model mayhem um, forum that my daughter and my son inevitably because of that having to deal with that when it should have been taken care of. That doesn't change that at all. And what my dead ex-husband's life insurance in regards to what the military paid again that has absolutely nothing to do with the individuals who caused the problem being held accountable for what they did wrong so what that financial aspect has to do with anything makes absolutely no sense and also not forgetting the fact that it, it the health care that because that was also brought up a reference to my my stuff that I earned and consequently for my children my son and my daughter that doesn't change that the, the fact that McCoy Elementary Schools employees and Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School Districts employees in Carrollton Texas as well as the three females who lost my daughter at the Fort Worth Zoo albeit because McCoy Elementary School's employees, the ones involved, did not do their work. That doesn't change that. And so why the individuals on Model Mayhem did not understand that, I was absolutely incapable of understanding or comprehending how such could be. I didn't realize 
to what level in certain regards of the lack of understanding or even empathy in certain regards or sympathy either way and so it was it was actually quite atrocious in my opinion for what i wound up dealing with in responses and it's one of those well you bet the ones of you who want to say what you want to say you better wish that you know people don't see that because if you want to go and say that the way you want to but then blame me for what other people did to my daughter to my son and to myself what is that not considered blaming the victims in that regard i think that is and so you know if you wind up dealing with certain things because of what you posted uh, i'm not gonna feel bad i'm gonna you know i'm gonna say that i don't want it to occur to others but i'm also you know i'm not gonna feel bad about if you're gonna say what you say about my children and I, and then try to bring up what others did saying that that's not important when it is the importance. Why would I be blamed for what other people did? That makes absolutely no sense. And while I understand that there is a stereotype in certain regards for models being stupid, I did not put this in writing, but I will say that while I understand there is a stereotype for models being stupid, not all models are stupid. Though some of the ones with the responses I got would very much state otherwise. Anyway, back to in reference of Aaron Stone and fearless photography. Um, that was ironically some of the stuff that his girlfriend not at the time of the the zoo aspect but i had discussed that with aaron stone and whoever his girlfriend was about the fact that i had been trying to get my daughter into special needs education and they did not want to listen to me and for those who would be able to verify the construction time frame through you know the check um, to the construction company that would that would give you the exact time frame mm, 2010 the earlier portions of so thank you for tuning in and share and subscribe to my channel and go through all of my uh, official videos <laughs>